Hello and welcome. In this short tutorial, I'll show you how to fix the spacebar networking issue. In this video, we only check for software related issues. There are a few things we can try. Exclude hardware issues. Check for sticky keys and filter keys. Use the Windows keyboard troubleshooter. Update keyboard drivers. Or reinstall keyboard drivers. First, we should try to find out if it's a hardware or software problem. So ideally you have a spare keyboard or you can lend one from a friend, connect it to your PC and check if the spacebar works. If it doesn't work with the other keyboard, it's a software problem. You can also try your keyboard on a different PC to check if it works as normal on the other PC. Next we check if sticky keys or filter keys are activated as these can interfere with your keyboard usage. To do this, click on the Windows search icon and type in settings or use the keyboard combination Windows I. In the settings app, click on accessibility. In here you need to scroll down and select keyboard. The first slider that you want to check is the one next to sticky keys. Make sure that the slider is set to off. The same applies to filter keys. If you change one of these settings, reboot your PC and check if the spacebar works once more. If not, continue on to the next method. In this one we use the Windows keyboard troubleshooter. To do this, search for Troubleshoot Settings in the Windows search bar, click on it, click on Other Troubleshooters, search for the Keyboard Troubleshooter, click on the Run button to start. Windows is going to perform a few basic checks as it tries to locate a problem with the keyboard settings. If it finds a problem, you can try to repair it by continuing in the Troubleshoot menu. If it doesn't find anything, continue on to the next method. Next we are going to check if there are updates for the keyboard drivers. To do this, click on the Windows search icon and type in Device Manager. Click on it. In Device Manager, search for keyboards and click on the little arrow next to it. Right click on your driver and select Scan for hardware changes. After that, right click on it once more and select Update Driver. The first option is fine, search automatically for drivers. If it finds better drivers to install, it will do so automatically. If not, you can click on search for updated drivers on Windows Update. This is a bit of a long shot, but it's worth a try. In the Windows Update menu, you can click on the Check for Updates button. When you do this, Windows checks for updates and installs them. Reboot your PC to complete the update, and after that, you can check if your spacebar is working once more. If updating the keyboard drivers didn't work, we can try to reinstall them next. To do this, we stay in the Device Manager menu. Right-click on your keyboard driver and select Uninstall Device. You'll get a warning from Windows that you have to restart your PC. Click on Uninstall. So after the reboot, the drivers are automatically reinstalled. It's possible that you have more than one keyboard driver, as is the case for me. You can try these steps on each driver and hopefully you have a fully functioning keyboard once more. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. Make sure to subscribe if you want to watch more Windows or software related tutorials. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.